Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. I am Ra Zim, and this is Horizon Lost World of Darkness Mage, Season 1, Episode 30, On the Trail of a Killer. We shall begin, as usual, with introductions, beginning with my darling love, Hello everyone, I am Kerr. I am the storyteller for this game. And it is awesome to see everybody here. And I hope you guys get to enjoy my pain, suffering, misery, and absolute despair. I mean, hi everyone! And Alexis. Hello, folks. This is Nestle playing Alexis McKenna. I'm a time mind forces mage. Um, and I, I do the drug. Portia. A gleaming endowment. That didn't take long. Tanya Sapien tipped $25, Dr. Portia Wainwright, the resident healer, alchemist, and currently a jackalope, played by Tanya Sapien, the resident brat, anarchist, and always a jackalope. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that tip and the support of the channel there. Uh, tier one of the tip goal has been complete. Actually, uh, tier one and two have been completed. Moriarty? Uh, I'm not used to this. I heard the sound and I just kind of zoned out for a second and I literally just assumed it was Toshime. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. I literally just Close assumed by. it was Toshime. I just <laughs> assumed it was Toshime, though, because it's like it's always him. <laughs> it was me. Moriarty. I forgot I, just... I muted myself. I've been talking this whole time. <laughs> All right, so I am the Fox Bard, and I am playing Reinhardt. The party's detective who does not have a drinking problem, no matter what you say. Mm, lies. I, do not I am have Toshime. A problem. I am Toshime, and I am playing Warring Pe War Peace, an Order of Hermes traditional mage. Warring mage. Uh, so Tosha may know uh, the tip or the Patreon thing can only fill the first tier of a goal. Um, I didn't know he was doing the first. Yeah. Uh, but I am Zim and I am playing Cody, the uh, sponsor of the group, basically. And... Uh, he, he dabbles in a bit of everything, but his specialty is correspondence magic. And last but not least, the newest member of our group that still needs to get actual art, Weirdy. Hello, I'm Wearnable, and I'm playing Wearnable. <laughs> I'm just a, 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 I guess, what was a sleeper still, but I've uh, been enlightened to uh, know about these uh, these uh, wizards and magic and stuff now, and that is uh, why uh, everyone is in the current predicament. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll I don't have magic. <laughs> Execute order 66. 
Okay, Re Reinhardt, now you can give him the gun. Is it was a gun? <laughs> he forgot. Hey, I have, I'm still in, I'm still turned into a moth, so I, I have four oh, eyes. Yeah. Give me something to I, put in I, there. I like your little moth icon in the fantasy grounds. <laughs> I hug a lamp. Just, just give him four SMGs, each with drum mags. He'll be fine. I don't have those. I just have revolvers. <laughs> uh, Cody, uh, do the thing. <laughs> I'm going to start with the recap. So last time on Horizon Lost World of Darkness Mage... We turned Calvin into a moth uh, and revealed the uh, existence of magic and all that good stuff. Uh, and, well, Paradox did not like that. The, reality did not like that because it goes against reality. Or at least the current version of reality, anyways. Reality can um, get bent. Yeah, it can. yeah. Reality out there killing the fun. So, uh, we got, uh, I believe it was Cody, Portia, and Warren went into a paradox realm where we met one of the pattern spiders. <laughs> And they were basically a bureaucrat and were throwing a fit about how we gave them so much paperwork, yada, 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 nonsense, so on, so forth. And then they pump, uh, kicked us back out uh, after our, e even though we were making perfect uh, defenses to our logic and uh, explanations for why we could do this and how it does fit into reality because you see many many years ago this place used to be called creation and beast folk existed then and people turning into beast folk was very much a thing back then yeah yeah it's not it's not creation anymore it should just they should just call it repetition because you're not allowed to make anything new apparently there's fun police yeah exactly so, uh, we, we finally got kicked out of the Paradox Realm, which was basically the back rooms, but not the back rooms, because Kerr, uh, Kerr claims he doesn't, he didn't just steal the back rooms. To um, be fair, I mean, empty office building, very generic. Yeah, it is. But he even described all of the... The specific features of the back rooms. But Kerr claims he doesn't know, but he didn't know about them. What about the beef rooms? We we do not talk about the beef rooms. <laughs> Who's laying it? No, it, it's it's my own creation. They're not oh. going to find it. <laughs> no, also, hello saying. there, It's Sada. my VR chat world. <laughs> I must go there now. I'm sending you to the beef rowdy room. So, anyways, um, yeah. Uh, Kerr tried to leave us off with a cliffhanger last time where we got kicked out of the Paradox Realm and wound up here in a... I, I, I guess it's kind of like the Astral Plane. Uh, You're basically in a very dark version of the hotel, like a very twisted, burned-out wreck of the hotel is what it looks like. Yeah, that Bring thing. Um, the thing is, we've turned it around on Kerr. Because you see, Kerr made the mistake of giving us access to the Exalted. Mm -hmm. And the rules really are just suggestions for the Exalted. Mm -hmm. Um, they, uh, they, 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 uh, get to do basically whatever they want, mm, especially no. in this time period. 
You know, I keep getting the sinking suspicion that Kerr has a great big bucket full of shut up waiting. Possibly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but either way. He's been doing that. Because he's been doing that. <laughs> Do you know what song that is? I'm very aware of what song that is. <laughs> I am not. Ba ba black sheep. Uh, actually, twinkle twinkle little star. Actually, that's ABCs. Twinkle twinkle little star and ABCs both use the same cadence, actually. Yeah, that's the joke. I will sell you. You need to buy me first. I, I already own you. What are you talking about? Moriarty, you are very well used goods. You're cheap as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's besides the point. <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be fine. You guys just do you. Don't let me get in the way of whatever you guys make the choice of doing of your own free will. I am in pain. <laughs> also, I figure I should probably go ahead and add Wernie to the actual rest of the group over here instead of leaving him over in... Uh, <laughs> guest star <laughs> realm dream raiders territory yeah <laughs> there we go and so, yeah. first I wanted to do a recap oh he just did the recap yeah it just did but if you wanted to do the whole st uh, starting thing I can do the whole starting thing I mean I'm good I'm done with some I recap Cody left it's off just... having summoned Nevis, King of Conquerors. So it's just slap, slap, Calvin, slap, slap, Calvin, where in the mall? Wake, wake the bloody hell up already! Uh, five more minutes. <laughs> Just grabbing and just, just grabbing one of his antennae and pulling on it. No, don't grab that. It hurts. <laughs> Wait, where are we now? Where he just yeah. flutters his wings and he tries to sit up. Yeah. You guys are in the uh, the burnt, wrecked hallway of what looks to be the hotel. Hmm. Uh, well, where where are we? <laughs> Okay, so, first off, uh, none of what happened was a dream. It's all real. Uh, second, I, I look, uh, we, we may look, all die soon. Uh, what? what? It, uh, or it just, I, I just look down as like, oh. Okay. Looks down as just moth arms. Oh, uh, why am I moth? <laughs> I'm all fluffy. He just like pats oh. his face. And now we've got a I whole bunch of paradox. I thought get off on that. Do you think we should send him so, to werewolves now that he's a morph? So, um... Is Werdy and Reinhardt and Alexis actually here with us? Yep, they're there with you guys. Ah, ah, okay. How did we get here? Um, you don't know. One moment you guys were in the normal hallway, now you guys are here. At least for Alexis, Reinhardt, and Wernie. So, bit of a recap. Um, we we had a little a little sit down meeting with a uh, pattern spider. Um, it it did it didn't go go very well. What? So what spider? Supernatural being. 
they're very dangerous, very powerful, very bureaucratic, very asshole. Also, uh, why do you have my accent now? Let's keep, let's keep them away because from I'm me. Yeah, trying to boot my brain up. Fuck you. Spiders <laughs> and moss don't mix well. I say as I flutter so moth wings again. It, it, <laughs> if I'm actually being perfectly honest, hers humming is actually a huge fucking distraction because it takes focus <laughs> for me to keep the accent <laughs> actually like on the tangent it's supposed to be on. So, that, so yeah, that's, that's part of why I was actually chopping up my statements was I had to focus on it like a couple words at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else care to chime in? Oh, I thought you were going to continue. I didn't want to interrupt. Um, I fucking lost my place anyways. <laughs> right, well. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess it's time to give you a gun now, since we are in danger. He says, offering Calvin a fucking revolver. Uh, Cal is still, like, feeling his, his neck fluff with his upper arm, so he just grabs the gun with one of his lower arms. <laughs> yeah. uh, I might as well, if I'm a moth, might as well make use of these arms. Reinhardt just nods and then goes to give him a few head pats. He took you using those a wee bit too thick. <laughs> he took you using those a wee bit too quick there, didn't he? You've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Is your accent just changing now? I am fucking trying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, which like what accent are you doing? I'm confused. I'm trying, I thought... to aim, I'm trying to fucking aim for Irish, but now you got me all fucked up. I put a boy to like this. I, I'm just I'm just confused. When did you when did Portia get an Irish accent? She's, she's always had it. She's technically always had one. I just could never work up the the urge to act, the, the the fucking courage to actually fucking do it. And now you're and fucking nitpicking me as I'm trying to do it. You're good, Portia. Don't and worry. Wernie's always had an Jersey accent. Okay, my apologies. I just di I just <laughs> didn't know. I was so confused. I just thought you Where talked like Where were you like last you. episode? Uh, you not here. You <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't watch the VOD? No, of course not. Nobody ever watches the fucking VODs. I do. I did it. I was, I've been too busy. <laughs> I actually watched it twice. <laughs> I, I, I really like the whole uh, lawyering scene. <laughs> Don't mind my humming, it's perfectly fine. You guys are safe. Don't worry, I'm making a protection circle on the ground. <laughs> Roll Arate for me. Uh, Oh boy. You're good. Yep, you are able to do it, Warren. You are able to get a circle up and going around you guys. Who here remembers when we had ran a place like this last time? If I'm being perfectly honest, it, like, see, I, I can't do it now. I can't fucking do it now. You're, you fucked me good. up. You can just do normal Porsche. It's okay. If I'm being perfectly honest, we, we go so many fucking places. I don't even know anymore. Last time was when we had met the Exalted, with the undead army chasing us. When things were this dreary.
Yeah, if they're undead, I wonder if I can do something with that. You know, normally I'm just working with the dead. Could I have everyone please, except Wernie, you're good right now. Everyone please roll perception awareness, or yeah, perception awareness rolls, please. Me too. Yep, everyone. Yeah, Everyone is there. Oh, you're there with them. You got yeah. thrown in there too. Awareness, perception. <laughs> I am so alert right now. Poor Warren. Warren's too busy getting his circle up at the moment. Fair enough. Right, equal sign. My bad. No, negative three awareness. <laughs> no, it's not. It's it's it's, 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 it's just super just bots. Three. Super just three. bots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, uh... Portia, how many did you get? You five. got five. Okay, making sure. Um, Portia and Alexis, you guys notice at the end of the hallway, you guys hear the click of locks being what might be undone. And you hear the sounds of the door starting to swing open slowly while everyone else is just kind of watching Warren and talking with each other. Oh, Christ. Whatever it is, I think it's here. Nothing is stepped out in the hallway, though, but you can see two doors at the very end of the hall have actually opened up if you kind of pay attention. Um, is Adamant here yet? Is what here? Yeah, had we already done the whole adamant and nevis thing? Uh, not quite yet. That would be going on as this is going on. So, Cody, you're trying to summon nevis. Yes. Roll your air tape for me. I already did last week, and you said I succeeded. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Um. I did not roll because I didn't realize there was supposed to be a roll for that. So should I roll my irritate? Yep. At least I'm pretty certain I did. I can go ahead and roll again. Oh yeah, yeah, Portia, you have no trouble doing it. And Cody, yeah, you're able to do it as well. I cast Benoit. As the Benoit and the Martin Lord appear in the hallway. All right. So, Nevis, King of Conquerors, I believe that it is time to bring back a certain thing from your time. Uh, you see, this world doesn't like beast folk. It does not like, uh, this reality does not like them. And, well, I really think we should bring them back. Uh, as well as perhaps even set up trials for future generations to go and become 
uh, furries, as they are nowadays called, uh, themselves. I really don't want to talk to myself on this. <laughs> but only I can do Nevis right. Well, that sounds like a fantastic idea. That was not his voice, but oh well. I'm too tired. Mood. So, Kerr, I would like to remind you. I, I did say that Nevis was going to go into sorcery. So this version of him would probably have it very good, very strongly. Uh, and also, I would remind you that there is a particular charm that uh, Lunars have where they can actually set up a trial that people can go through and become Manthros. Oh, he's in? Yes. I uh, just wanted to let you know there is some background noise coming through your end. Just so I you know. am aware my roommates are doing something with bottles. I can't do anything about it. Okay, just just making sure. So, so that's it. Just it's an excellent idea. You're not going to go into another self-aggrandizing speech. What was that? Portia? Oh, I just that broke was down in laughter. I just that broke down in laughter. <laughs> Portia, I just broke down in laughter so hard I didn't even realize I was muted. Portia, you get one point of experience for that remark. <laughs> <laughs> I miss what she said. About the grandizing <laughs> speech. So that's it. You're just going to say an excellent idea. You're not going to go into another self-aggrandizing speech. Honestly, darling, I've gotten so used to them at this point that it feels weird when you don't do it. <laughs> well, I would go into one, but unfortunately my actor is uh, tired today and... Uh, is doing the best he can in the present circumstances. Well, perhaps if he didn't spend so much time taking a sledgehammer to the fourth wall, it wouldn't be so weak. What can I say? It's just a lot of fun. Hey, um, Cody, can you give me another perception awareness roll for Nevis, please? Uh, I'll be right back. One moment. Um, I gotta add, I, 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 why did he step away? Something came up. Cause, uh, he, he kind of has a thing that, uh, I mean, okay, I'll go ahead and roll the, uh, equivalent roll. grand plan and Kerr leaves something something came up 
benefit of the doubt. I doubt it's to your benefit. While you're waiting, dear, I must say, I do like what you've done with your... Well, you're everything. Trying on your true face, I do have to say, it looks so much better on you than that awful ape thing you were wearing before. Are, are you talking to yourself now? I do believe that she was. <laughs> Technically true. Honestly, a little bit at a loss for words. Perhaps. Perhaps a bit later when we're not when we're not facing imminent death, I'd actually like to talk to you a little bit about that. You know what? I know what always brings him back. <laughs> Tanya Sapien wants you to go on an adventure. Follow the adventure line TM. Alright, come back. Sorry about that. See, See, every time, every time, it always works. <laughs> Yeah, all you missed was uh, me talking to myself. The adamant complimenting Portia for actually wearing her real face for once. Hey, uh... Could everyone please give me... If you don't give, give me, me something to do, I'll have to amuse myself, and no one wants that. <laughs> Ra underscore Zim says perfect. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you said could you give him a what? Give you a what? Well, hello, darling. <laughs> so delightful to see you all here. Oh, Davis! Adam and so oh. I did not expect to see you here, darling, because you are rocking it. Ah, oh, wonderful I'm to see you. It. Wonderful to see you, my lord. So I've got a bit of a plan, and I think it's right up your alley to work with Nevis here uh, to make it happen, uh, Domino. Have your people come, my people, and we'll do lunch, darlings. I am your people. Technically exactly. speaking, I am both of your people, so let's do lunch now. Hmm. Fair, darlings. However, I think they might have something to say about that. Who is they? As you turn around, Domino is going to point as you see two dark clothed figures walk out of the two rooms that were unlocked. I do believe that they want to fight. As they proceed to draw knives. Oh, that's adorable. Now, if I am recalling properly, Adamant has the whole drones thing, right? Correct. 
yeah, she would be preparing this. Could everyone please give me a dex plus wits roll? Two attributes? Yep. Interesting. There's a seven pass. <laughs> Unless stated otherwise, usually so. <laughs> Funny, go boing. Willpower to reroll. That is much worse. Oh. Oh. Cody's just awestruck that somebody in the room has a bigger ego than he does. He will not stand for it. Oh, he's currently dealing with Domino's-ness. The Domino's-ness of Domino. But, Portia. You guys have entered combat. You get turn one. So, all, all we see is these uh, dark figures holding knives? Yes, they're so currently about 20 feet away down the hall. They could reach you... Basically, by running, though, they would be able to reach you and attack you. You can tell that. Can I shoot the... one? <laughs> Do the drones have ranged attacks? Yes. All right, then um, she would be going for saturating fire. Not sure what I would be rolling for that. That would be a firearms <laughs> plus dexterity roll. All right, so she's inheriting my rolls then? The exalt. Like, I, I, I mean, I can use Porsche stats. I actually do have a point in firearms because of the paintball gun. Yeah, I use your stats because they're they're being channeled through you. Hey, I'm okay with this. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> okay. Um... The six pass. <laughs> Let's see if you hit that or not. That's a lot of dice. He prepped. Um. Ah. <gasps> All right, that's the first one. Let's see if the other one can be so lucky. He rolled two tens, didn't he? Uh-huh. So, Portia, as you and Adamant unleash literal hell down the hallway, these things literally begin to matrix their way through the gunfire. These pulses of essence that would basically obliterate anything that they hit. As they hit the back wall, the back wall just kind of crumbles. These things are literally like parkouring their way through the gunfire and dodging it very narrowly in most places. Like 
literally by scant like an inch that they're dodging this gunfire. Oh, you two are going to make this interesting, aren't you? And Portia, you also get something to do. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do with magic, and Portia's not exactly a stormtrooper. Good luck with your paintball gun. Yeah, no shit. One moment. Ooh. Actually, I do still have that stim pack, which I had explicitly stated does have stimulants in it. Yes. If also, to... Portia, you can use magic. I thought I can't use magic. Never mind, you can't. You, can. you are right. You are right. I just remembered you had your results out. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I were to use the stim pack on myself, would that give me any bonuses to any rolls? Yes, plus two bonus. Then yeah, I'll be I'll uh, use the stim pack on myself because the moment that I the moment that uh, Portia connects that it's her that's that, that's behind it that you know she's the one being channeled she's going to hit herself with the stim pack to help adamant so yeah that's my turn uh would you like to step into the circle of protection that warren created very obviously i would have already been in it <laughs> as soon as, okay as soon as he's like everyone into the circle she'd be already be there i understand i understand why are you shouting <laughs> All right, so next, uh, Reinhardt, Warren, which of you, which of you have the higher dexterity? Uh, let's see, I have a dex of four? Three. Reinhardt, you are next. All right. So... Uh, real quick, describe the scene again. Just so uh, I get all the pieces together. These figures are about 20 feet away. They are currently dodging a hail of essence-laden gunfire that's basically tearing the backside of the hallway up. You can't really see much of them. Their their faces are obscured by uh, their cloaks they're wearing. Uh, you can't see any of their body. They're dressed completely in black, but you can see the two very shiny knives that each one is holding as they are currently slowly kind of moving like inch by inch closer to you guys as they're dodging. Can I tell if these are dead slash undead? You could make an Arate roll if you want to try to detect their life. Otherwise, you could try to do a perception roll. I will try to detect their life. Because I assume that will give me a better thing. That would be an Arate this... roll, yes. Okay, Arate roll. Cool. Well, that bodes well. Uh, irritate too. Um, Unless for some odd reason my magic is boosted. Reinhardt, these things do not have souls, nor are they alive or dead. Okay, so these are just shades. I don't know if I can do anything to manipulate them. Uh, no, they are not spirits at all. Ooh. They are neither alive, nor are they dead, and they have no souls. Great. Shoot, okay, I'm... Damn. I am stumped. Um, wow. <laughs> so much of my shit relies on that. Um, do you have it? You do have answered me, don't you? Uh, I do have... Oh, yeah! Not only do I have Entropy, but I have Entropy 5. 
because of that tattoo if I want to destroy something. So, can I use my tattoo to basically just blast the fuck out of him? Bring me his kneecaps. You require physical contact to use it in that way. You would need Jesus. to touch them. All right, fuck. Put on the Reinhardt. Uh, I don't want to get close. They have knives. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. <laughs> All right, you guys have healing magic. I'm going to have to ask you to buff me. As I'm gonna, I I'm don't gonna... have access to my magic right now. What do you mean? Don't, don't tell have him that. All right, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna move in and I'm gonna try to Actually, punch one with my super fist because what, shit, I don't know what else to do. Would I have time to toss him a dose of the panacea? With the you'd have to wait till next turn. SCP five hundred. No, literally, literally, I, as part of a Fey deal, I actually got um, a vial of panacea. One drop of it uh, cures pretty much fucking anything. Hey, so you yes, literally yes, gets yes. SCP-500. Yes, I literally have a liquid form of SCP-500. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I currently have... Where is it? Ten doses left. I started with twelve. Yes, Reinhardt, you want to go for a touch against them? Yeah. All right, that would, be, that would be a brawl plus dexterity roll. Brawl plus... I, I think Reinhardt's actually built for this. Hold on. <laughs> I thought you had a pretty good brawl skill. Yeah, I got three brawl. <laughs> I gave him start. good brawl because, you know, <laughs> detectives punch shit sometimes. All right, all right. Five, six, seven. Ah, uh, it's a lot of ones. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a point of willpower here. Can I use willpower on this one? What am I thinking of werewolf? No, you can use a willpower for this. Okay. Yeah, you can. Cool, cool. You're spending a willpower for this one, then. Uh, bu 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 bu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got a lot of rolls that have me rolling seven dice. That's better. Probably. Barely. Cool. <laughs> so instead of a one, it's a two. Yeah, I mean... It's twice as successful. It's a 100% increase in doing it. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. That doesn't mean it's a lot of successes, though. Those could be ones. Just imagine if they just rolled nothing but ones. Hey, you guys. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey, Reinhardt. Yeah. Hi, Reinhardt. I don't like you right now. Why? Did you oh. roll a lot of ones? Oh. Uh huh. Oh. This thing botched its dodge roll against you. <clears throat> Ouch. I guess it wasn't expecting us to come into melee range voluntarily. Hey, Reinhardt, please roll your Arite. Okay. That is Erite of two. Reinhardt, your hand makes contact with it. Your arm glows with a dark light as the tattoos begin to blaze. <clears throat> as your hand makes contact with this thing's chest, as it's currently in the middle of dodging one of the shots from Porsche's Exalted, it runs right basically into your hand and... It just shatters apart 
and you can see the remains of machinery and gears flying everywhere as it crumples to the ground. And you can see, like, a machine-like blank face, almost like a mannequin, kind of just twitching on the ground a little bit. Oh, is that unsettling? But we can kill them! And now, Warren, it's your turn. State your business or be banished from this place. State your uh, business. <laughs> Warren, make it actually, make it a cult roll for me. Intelligence plus a cult. I think he knows a thing or two. Just a bit. All right. Um, Warren, based on what you can just see, based on what Reinhardt revealed, these things are basically mechanical drones being controlled by something else. These are literally basically kill bots. They have no sentience, no will of your own. And based on what they're trying to do, they're not going to stop until they kill you. The Paradox Spirits are still after us. Um, this doesn't look like a Paradox Spirit's doing. This looks like something else. At least, they're never usually this blatant about trying to kill you or using things like this. Well, we did directly piss one off. This is true. And I'm going to work on keeping the protection sigil still going. Okay, roll, roll your uh, air tape for me again. Botch. Oh. You're not going to burn, like, willpower or anything? Yeah, I will. And now is not the time for botching. Tell that to the dice. It's just a zero. Oh, wait, one. A one is better than a botch. Notice that melee, martial arts, and brawl are three separate skills. What differentiates those? Brawl is beat down like a bar style fight. Martial arts is trained fighting. And then melee is using weapons? Yep. Yeah, like a baseball bat, okay. sword. Hey, Reinhardt. Okay. Could you roll your dex plus dodge for me, please? Oh, sure thing. Dex, what's my dodge? I'm going to get some water real quick. Up here. What's dodge? Yeah, dodge isn't a thing. Kurt really needs to stop asking us for a roll and then stepping away. I'm thinking, <laughs> 
Or athletics, maybe? Man, speaking of, I just realized I've got so many merits that just never come up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got judicial ties, and I don't think that's come up once. I got a firearms license, that's never come up. I'm a crack driver. I don't think Reinhardt's ever driven. <laughs> He's yeah, driving the DM we, crazy. Does he even does he even have a car? So all those experience points that I was saving up for putting into spheres, just realized if we if we survive this, Adamant is immediately going to insist that Portia begins physical training. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just have to wait for it just to get some water. What is hey, dodge? There's no dodge? Uh athletics. Oh. Athletics? Okay. They, uh, they rolled it into athletics. Gotcha. It used to be its own skill beforehand. <clears throat> oh, that almost was another 10. Uh, so dex plus F equals 3. So, Reinhardt, mm -hmm. this thing immediately, the other one, immediately turns to you and proceeds to stab you four times in the chest, rapid fire, before yes. slamming you into the ground and drawing its knife out of you as you take six points of lethal damage. Oh, shit. You were, however, able to, it was going for your heart you were able to twist yourself so it only stabbed you in the stomach instead. Oh, gut wound. That's not... Uh, let's see. Uh, so just, Portia... just for my own edification, how do you mark that down? The health thing? Um, that would be six X's in the health track. Yikes. Going down from top to bottom. All right, I am just instantly incapacitated. I mean, you did get stabbed four times in the chest, so... Is that a step above incapacitated, or is that... Oh, uh, no, yeah, that's... I'm crippled, I think. Yeah, that is... Is it the last X that you have, or is it the last blank that you have? There is one more blank at incapacitated. No, I'm asking Kerr. You stepped away again? I was muted. muted. I'm sorry. Ah, there you are. <laughs> no. Um, as long as you're above incapacitated, you're okay. You you, you are still able to act. Uh, Reinhardt, you are going to have a minus four dice roll on everything you attempt to do unless you spend a willpower point to get rid of that penalty for one action. But the Make last sure X is the state five? that you're in? What's up? The last, last X is the state that you're in? Yes. Okay, so it's minus five for crippled. Oh, they buffed it. It used to be minus four. Ah. So yeah, it's minus for... five successes? No, minus five dice to all dice, dice rolls. Dice, okay. Yeah, Unless you no. spend a willpower. Yeah, basically you force through the pain. Right now, Reinhardt, you are in absolute agony as it feels like someone just literally shoved a blender into your chest. Stabbed you. I do have something planned, but I have to wait for it to come back around to mine and Adamant's turns. Yeah, uh, Portia, you can clearly see uh, Reinhardt is not doing very well. He's <laughs> bleeding out. Yep. Yep, very aware. And then we go down to Alexis's turn. Did Cody go yet? Cody will be last. Yeah. Cody, Cody <laughs> rolled terribly. Ah, okay. I thought I rolled bad. Um, okay, so, um, let me think. So could I have, could, did Warren mention that these are drones, or have we, have the, has the group determined that? Uh, you can clearly see that the, the first one, the one that Reinhardt blew up, you can see, like, all the metal, like, gear work and machinery inside of it. Like, this is like a steampunk machine. Right, but you mentioned controlled by someone else. Uh, Warren could have said that. On his yeah, I, I did. 
wondering, I have two options. I think I'll go with the uh, one that might work better. Um, Alexis is going to attempt to um, create a vibrational force um, throughout the drone's body with the hope of, of making two bits, two critical bits um, Ooh. jam up. Okay. Uh, are, are we, what are you going to be using to attempt to do this effect? What sphere? Or uh, forces. Forces, okay. Make an air tape roll. Actually, forces, and can I use time as well to try to speed up whatever the vibration is? Yeah, give you it a little more, that. A little more force, okay. Uh-huh. Yep. That'd be air tape, right? Yes. I mean, you, you speed up some gears, slow down others, they'll start grinding teeth, you know? Yeah, that's the idea. This poor baby. <laughs> this poor baby. So, this thing begins turning towards you guys as it finishes stabbing Reinhardt repeatedly. Before, Alexis, you lift your hand, focus, and this thing's body just starts to just, like, shake and vibrate before, like, you see, like, part of its head just, like, break and crack. And a few moments later, you hear other cracks go on in its chest before the thing just kind of crumbles to the ground, twitching. Oh. Alexis, I didn't know that you know Bone Rattle. <laughs> My other idea was to try to sense if there was a, a link to a mind somewhere I could sever, but I figured this would be more effective. Right. So it's down then? Yeah, it's not moving anymore. Right. Um, if we have a moment, uh, Adamant would immediately have the drones uh, grab uh, uh, the Reinhardt and drag him over to Portia. Mm -hmm. That can and happen. Or... Yeah. yeah, no. This, Portia... entire, this entire thing literally happened in about five seconds of time. Yeah, uh, Portia is going to spend a dose of Panacea on him. Uh, Reinhardt, please heal all of your health wounds as all of your wounds just like literally close over and heal. I literally had to sell my soul for this, so be happy. I can breathe. I can fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, darling, now that you know my chocolate cake recipe, perhaps you can get my knight to actually make it for me. I find cooking to be so tedious, darling. <laughs> And while everyone else was fighting for their life, Cody and Nevis were currently being regaled by Domino's chocolate cake. I literally buy the chocolate cake or buy the... the story. By Domino. By yeah. Domino see... wanting to, them to learn his recipe so they would make it for him. Gotcha. Well, you see, you see, Nevis is just such a gregarious leader that he knows he doesn't need to hog all the glory for himself. Sometimes he needs to let the peons feel strong, so he just gave this one to him. <laughs> you you delegate the action. So does that mean it's my turn? Uh, they're both both of the uh, drones are currently down. Ah, but we, don't, but we don't know where the controller's at yet. All right, and you don't know if there's more of them here either. Nope, there were only two. Yep. Yeah, there's totally only two here in this hallway or in this uh, building. Totally only nope. two. Okay. Nope, there's only two in total, and uh, the guy who's controlling them was so intimidated, they just walked away, and we won. Yay! Actually, can, Cody... I, can I sense any leftover <laughs> mental energy or anything? Try that? Cody's uh, doing the thing. Yeah, let Cody go, oh, then right. you. Oh, all right. Cody is going to call Ferris. Uh, there's no answer. The phone just kind of rings as though it can't get a signal. Well, there goes that idea.
was gonna have him put me on the line with Bob, but... A gleaming endowment. Nestle tipped $35. Three. <laughs> How about now? Nestle, <laughs> thank you so much for that <laughs> tip and supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Ah, uh, that no, is, is, is that is that is tier three better? done. Beep. Phone signal beep. any better? Beep. Beep. Hello, S sir. You're coming in very, very staticky. Uh, I need to speak with Bob, please. Bob. What's up, Bob? Bob the skull. Ah, Bob. Uh, we're dealing with some kind of uh, automaton puppet things that are being... Uh, he'll explain what Warren said. Nonsense. Huh. Uh, any suggestions on this situation? Also, we're in some kind of other world, it seems. Or ruined plane of existence. I don't know a pattern spider threw us here. I try in a cult roll to see where the hell we are. As well. You, yes, you could attempt that while uh, he's talking about him. Is that Sounds Bob like... you're talking to? Did he ever lose the weight? Hey, I am perfectly sized. Thank you very much, Adamant. I had to. I'm sorry. Um, as for what you're describing, Cody, that sounds like some magical constructs. They're basically running on magical energy. Um, think of it as the ancient Greek, Roman, like that time period. That was their form of like super soldiers or tanks. Whoever's doing this type of thing, this seems like it might be old school. Or at least whatever's mate controlling these things is. Um, they're pretty basic, though. They're not very good at a adaptation. They're just going to follow whatever orders you give them. The thing is, though, they can usually be pretty tough to conventional firepower. What are they weak against, then? Vibration. Uh, usually supernatural effects are going to be what are most effective against them. <laughs> These things were made to fight the supernatural, but the supernatural is pretty good at taking care of them as long as they don't get the drop on you. These things can be fast, quiet, and they can come in many different forms and functions. They do got to be controlled by something, though, or someone has to be giving them their orders. They can run autonomously, but they can also be controlled. Through mental or... Um, Electricity or radio magic, waves or... Magic, magic. usually. <laughs> got it. Uh, depends on whoever made them. There might be sigils carved into them. They might be using a crystal. It really depends on whoever crafted them, their own way of doing things. Cody is going to go inspect the bodies more closely to see if he can pick up any information. Okay. Um, Omni, give me a perception awareness roll for me. And while you're doing that, Alexis, what did you want to try to pick up? I was going to see if there was any uh, residual mental presence. Uh, no, not on these ones. These ones were running autonomously, it looks like. Okay. You, and, you, uh... you, you do get the sense that they were just given orders somewhat recently, which is probably when they opened the door, but they did not specifically were being, they were not specifically being controlled or ordered about. Gotcha. Fire and forget. Yep. Also, basically. Kerr, yes. I would like to remind you of Nevis's all encompassing sorcerer site. Yes. Oh. Um, yeah, so. Uh, go ahead, Portia. 
Uh, so yeah, when when he's saying that about with the week two. Preternatural forces. Okay, then just entropy and uh -uh. forces and uh -uh. seriously, Portia, what the hell? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a doctor. I'm not. I'm not a stormtrooper. I'm a doctor. I don't know what the fuck the accents are anymore. We're we're just off into La La Land. Mm -hmm. it's okay, we are going to discuss. We're going to discuss this later. Uh, I do like that. Uh, Cody, um, you and Nevis working together, uh, Nevis would be able to see there is a blood sigil on the backs of each of these creatures, though one of them is clearly basically destroyed after what Reinhardt did to it. He will relay that to, uh, Bob. And describe the sigil itself. I can't say I recognize that one myself. Hmm. Fair enough. Anything else I can help you with, boss? I believe that would be everything. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Don't get yourself killed, please. No promises. <laughs> oh, also, uh, we're going to be doing a ritual later that I'm would like your assistance with. I can try to help. We're going to turn the world into furries. Wait, what? And he hangs up. Oh, Blue Blazes is actually going through with it. Calvin, how are you holding up? Uh, looks like Wernie is still AFK. Oh. oh, yeah, he's, I just noticed he's still muted. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Calvin, how you holding up? Oh, he's passed out. Uh, Cody, you get a message on your, uh, phone. He will look. It's on Telegram. Oh. Okay, he's hey. looking at it. <laughs> it says, hey, are you still alive? Okay, he's not actually going to tap into it. Uh, he's just looking at the preview. Mm -hmm. No reason to let him know that we're still alive. Wait, did my uh, intelligence will figure out where the hell we are? Um, you do not... You're not directly in the spirit world. You're like in a boundary between the spirit world and the mortal world like a bubble on the mortal world so to speak it's not the full spirit world but you guys are going to be able to use your magic very effectively in this little pocket world basically hmm. think of it this way someone put a blanket over the hotel and you guys are currently on top of the blankets It doesn't have much. I see. I think I see what you're going. So, Portia, dear. To... Who... Oh, sorry. sorry. I thought you were done. I was going to just mention this to the group. Oh, 
So, Portia, dear, who is that? It's Jack the Ripper. Ah. <laughs> so is that why... Yes, that's why I turned myself male. to believe that he's still around after all this time. I was going to say. I'm not sure the Exalted would know about him. They would be able to tap into the memories of you guys to know. Ah. To be fair, it's more of an it. Both he, she, it, they, they all died the same. Is there any obvious exit to this place? Um, you can see the elevator behind you guys. There is the, uh, uh very, very broken, uh, wall just ahead of you. And the, at the end of the hallway, it looks like it branches to the left and to the right. I usually shouldn't take elevators in an emergency. But just to test, uh, Alexis will press the down button. Click. And you see that the elevator is slowly rising up from the uh, from the ground floor and heading up to you guys. It'll probably be up here in about like 30 seconds, 45 seconds at most. I wonder if this is possible. Can can Alexis through forces um, like create an invisible wall? Yeah. Or at least one that actually distorts uh, light as well to make it look like it's just an empty hallway? Yep, that falls under forces. I will do that then. Make an air table. So does that mean that he's Us created too. a force? Does that mean that he's created a forces field? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, you are able to create that screen of lights. Just in case anyone comes out of the elevator. And the elevator will ding. And it looks like there is nothing on the other side. It looks like a very run down, broken elevator on the inside. Like, on the inside of it, you can clearly see that the metal looks like it is almost rotten. It's rusted. It does not look very safe to go into. Do we note it? I suppose I can create a forced floor if we want to go down. Any have any anybody have any other ideas? Yes, dear. It's called a cardio. There's a stairwell. <laughs> it's gonna be a much better repair, but and there's At who least knows how if many the other stairwell collapses, you only fall one story. Oh, and you... besides, oh. a certain somebody here needs to be more fit. <laughs> Spend all my days in a laboratory. Yeah, and you should spend it out in the field instead. And anybody can see where the elevator goes to. True. Uh, how far away can could I sense mines with mind three? Um, do you have correspondence? I have one correspondence. Um, I just noticed that Wernimal is no longer muted. Hi, I'm here. Hey, welcome back. Uh, Portia well, asked how you're holding up. 
uh, Ornable is like gripping <laughs> the the gun with his two <laughs> lower arms, and the other and the other arms are just like uh, uh, kind of just like on like on his head. It's kind of like he's uh, very looking very stressed with what's going on. <laughs> He just like looks over. He's like, uh, <laughs> uh I don't know. <laughs> Simply stay in the middle of the group, dear. You'll be fine. So while yes, the magic is all fun and everything, um, there are things that go bump in the night, and unfortunately, sometimes we have to bump back. I can uh, see that. <laughs> Did we not already explain this to him? I do believe that I already told him. Where is looking at his bag for the 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 vial of pills that is labeled a prazolam. <laughs> Um, uh, what does that do specifically? It's for, uh, anxiety. It says Prazolem, generic for Xanax. <laughs> ah. Well, Portia would very likely have Hydroxyzine in her trauma kit, so she would just give you that if you can't find your pills. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I highly doubt that mild sedatives would have gotten completely used up back at the uh, bunker. Because if, she, if she's going to need to be knocking people out, she'd be using the hard stuff. <laughs> Pills here! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, where he is ready to shoot the next weird thing that comes at us. <laughs> he just like, has the gun ready. <laughs> A gun. I better keep my mouth shut. I'm pretty weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pride heart is just pettable. No, no, uh, no. Cody... You to... Sorry. Go on. Oh, right. Cody can't use his magic. Never mind. I mean, you could let uh, Nevis go. Then you could. Nah. No, 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 dear. You need to square your shoulders. Now this finger goes here, like that. Now make sure not to flag anybody with the barrel. There you go. Um, you would only be able to feel the minds of anything on the on the floor that you are currently on. Might as well. Roll your air tape on me. Let's see if you can sense anything. Yes, Timber. Uh, Cal would 100% shoot you. To be fair, though, you, if you shoot Timber with a handgun, it might just make him angry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, yes, Alexis, you get a ping on the mind. There is someone coming up the stairwell that just entered your uh, range. It looks like they're walking in your general direction. At least they're still coming up the stairs to get up to you guys. To your floor. So, uh, should we go ahead and uh, drag Timber in here since uh, Ascent to Ascend is cancelled? <laughs> just, just uh, you know... Greaves just picks him up and plops him down with us. <laughs> the Inquisition I mean, I... knows no bounds. Wait, is my... <laughs> yeah. my... Huh. my character in Ascent to Ascend, uh, I did shoot at Timber when I was in it for that, that one time. <laughs> I 
I also shot at, um, shot at the twins. <laughs> so does Alexis relay this information to the others? Yep. Right, Adamant will position the drones in flanking positions by the door, ready to ambush anything that comes through it. I mean, I mean door to the stairwell. If there is a door. If there isn't, then just like the passageway or whatever. Yep, there is a doorway. The door is closed. They, they are in flanking ambush positions. And she is, meanwhile, uh, braced and ready with her sidearm. And Portia's just keeping her head down. And uh, what about everyone else? Can I make a one-way force field? Uh, you could attempt to, yes. So anything that attempts to come through the door wouldn't be able to, but we could send things through the other direction? Uh, yeah, you could attempt to. It would be a little bit more difficult, but you could try to. Could make um, a highly con highly concentrated wall of wind. Sometimes going through one way, it gets pushed back. Goes through the other way, it gets accelerated. Yeah, it's kind of well, I guess, yeah, try that, I suppose. Probably not. All right, then give me an air tape roll. That's the one you got again? Yep. Well, that was for the creating the force field. Yep, you are able to get uh, going and set up. Now we play the waiting game. We're just waiting here. Menacingly! All right, can I have a perception awareness roll from everyone? Perception. A lot of my stuff is just seven. Is this visual? Uh, no, this would be hearing. Okay. Because I looked at my sheet and I re remembered I had oh, the boon um, keen senses for sight. Uh, would I get bonus dice for the, um, due to the stim pack? Uh, I'll let it still be going for right now. Alright, so that's, you said it was a plus two? Yep. Neither of them gets anything anyway, so it's still four. It was worth a shot. Would it have killed you to hit the gym at least once? Damn it, Ad damn it, Adamant! I'm a doctor, not the IRA. <laughs> what? What does the IRA have to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> because IRA is basically insurgency, you know, fighter, warrior. No, I know, but it's like... It's like I yeah, haven't hit the gym. I'm not part yeah. of the IRA. They're the gym guys. <laughs> yes. I was just thinking of something to fill the silence. Fair Cling. enough. Cling. 
Clang. 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 Oh no, it's space engineers. It's coming for us. <laughs> you hear footsteps coming up. The I'm stairs. sorry, Lord Clang. <laughs> Lord Clang is coming for us. We beseech you for mercy for our hubris. <laughs> You've abused <laughs> physics for the last time. Can I have everyone make a perception awareness roll, please? Again? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. The calls were coming from inside the house. Well, then. Cody, would you like to spend a point of willpower? Why'd you roll two more? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot my two dice. Fuck. Thank you for reminding me. No, Cody got one ten, but rolled two dice. Uh, so the second set of dice was for Nevis, and hey. he's got enhanced senses for all senses. Oh. And uh, that allows him to double nines. Okay, okay. Uh, no, Kerr, I would not like to use willpower because my rolls have been terrible today. So I think a two, even though it's probably not good enough, is probably the best I'm going to get. Splendid offering. Timber underscore tyrants underscore templar tipped fifty dollars. Have some hope, PM. <laughs> there we Timber, go. Timber, thank you so very much for that tip. And that is the tip goal completely filled. A collective yeah, effort, and I am exceedingly grateful to everyone for helping to make sure that <laughs> my rent gets paid and. Uh, the, the channel can keep going. So, thank you, everyone. Jambers is smiling upon us. All right. Mm. Um... Sorry, brain. Catching up. Uh, all right. I did not expect the donation goal to be met literally at this moment. Her. It's one of your plans, the therefore. Wernimal tipped five dollars. The moff is gonna scrum and use gun. <laughs> I mean, I am a death head boss, so I can do the little moss speaks. I, wa I want to know where the dial up's coming from. That sound takes me back. Oh, it's Kerr's brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Kerr, <laughs> the flaw in your plan was that Duke. it's one of your plans, therefore it must be destroyed at the worst possible time. That is how it, it works. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Martin has apple. Martin has apple. So, Alexis, you suddenly get a very, very bad feeling, and 
you get this this the sixth sense that there is remember that vision you had of the building being vaporized once mm -hmm. you're getting that kind of sense and foreboding again And it's building up stronger and stronger. Hmm. Can I try a prophecy? Yes, you may make a uh, you may make an arity roll. I foresee. Your death! <laughs> By obsidian uh, butterflies. Yeah, I'm gonna willpower that. Barely. All right, Alexis, you have a vision of the immediate future, maybe 30 seconds to a minute from now, of something impacting the side of the hotel, shattering it, and sending rubble flying to kind of rip you guys apart if you're not in anywhere that could be safe, fortified, or protected. Yeah. Uh, we'll announce this as quickly as possible to everybody, and then I suppose trying to set up a protect protective shield around us. We need we need to hunker down, sort of thing. So I don't have access to my magic. Does Adamant have any access to magic? Um, no, nothing that would probably help here. All right. So what do you guys want to try to do as you hear this warning of shit is coming? And we're in a hallway. Is there are there any like large large items within that hallway? Not really. Like yeah, couches, hey. drink carts, that sort of thing. No, you're on one of the upper turn. four. Our, our options are turn and run or turn and fight. I mean, you're mages as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we get I... prep time. Yeah, you have like a minute before this vision comes true. That's like an eternity for mages. There, There's this video circling around on YouTube where it's like Batman being like, I could take down anyone as long as I got prep time. <laughs> what is prep time? As long as I got prep time, I can take care of it. <laughs> Adamant, I think I, I think that I can just do it. And she's go, uh, going to dismiss Adamant. So is that an just... instant thing? Uh, real quick, real quick, actually, I'd like to try something. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're still in, like, the burnt-out hallways, right? Yeah. I'd like to take my super fist and just punch a wall. The wall would shatter. What's behind it? The room. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> so, um... The moment that uh, the moment that Adamant is dismissed, Portia's going to take one of the several kudzu seeds that she keeps on hand, and is going to attempt to grow a large tangle of vines around everyone, like protective circle. Hmm, kudzu gamer. <laughs> 
Hey, mm. ever since the thing with the zombies, she keeps uh, sandbox tree and kudzu seeds on hand at all times. <laughs> Can Alexa set up a uh, force field behind the vines? Yep. You can make, uh, both of you please roll air tape. That's better. Much better. Oh, how did that go off the screen? That was a 10. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Does a 6 succeed? <laughs> I will succeed. Yes. Both of you it succeed is as you to can build your list. Uh, Warren, Cody, what are you guys up to? Keeping the barrier up. Uh, Cody's pulling out his magnum. And Nevis is probably getting it, just kind of standing there in a, you know, relaxed pose with his spear. All right, Warren, make an air day roll for me as well. Why haven't we tried to just teleport out of here? Cody. <clears throat> Cody can't use his magic while Nevis is here. I know that. I'm asking Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot use my magic while Nevis is here, and either way, I'm fairly certain we won't be able to teleport out of this realm. Fair enough. Even if he could, that would just give Jack an excuse to kill everyone. All right. Um, all of your prep time, all of your work. It's for naught. The floor, the walls, everything but the floor within the circle that you guys huddle onto around the barrier that Alexis and Portia erect shatters and starts crumbling apart. And worn. As the wall of the hotel is hit by a massive... You're not sure what it is. It's almost like a missile with the amount of damage that this thing does. Like a dozen missiles just hit the side of the building. But thankfully, working together, everything survived for you guys. Though you're currently um, maybe about 50 feet off the ground. Most of everything has crumbled away. Though... You do see, back behind you, towards where the, stair the stairwell was, you do see there is another figure standing there. One that is familiar to you guys. Santa Claus. <laughs> it's not going to be him again. Wait, again? Yeah, didn't you know that was Santa Claus who was helping us with rescuing all those people in the bunker? No. No, I did not. That's because it wasn't. It was. No, because I specifically asked uh, Kerr if Santa Claus existed in World no, of Darkness. No, no, th th there's, there's a joke here that I think he knows about. Um, From a certain show. The So, I'll, I'll go into it after the session. Uh, but no, you recognize the figure. He is holding a very long uh, lance. He is wearing golden armor with two floating shoulder pads that just seem to hover over him. Um, and his hair is a very pale white. Yes, this is the man who helped you save those uh, slaves from the bunker. So it is Santa Claus. <sighs> He's currently like kneeling down 
his spear up over him, and the shoulder pads have actually moved in front of him to act as another shield. He does not look harmed in the slightest, though. You know, we really gotta stop meeting like this. I heard there was trouble over here, so I came over. And I ended up over here. Yeah, where Are is you here? All right? Just a smidge. <laughs> Just a smidge of trouble, hi. What did you say there, uh, Nestle? I, 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 um, where is here exactly? <laughs> well, it seems whoever's doing this created a little realm in the spirit world. Just a little bubble where they were, and they're hiding out somewhere here. You know where? My guess is the ground floor of the hotel, but he glances uh, in the direction that the walls blew in from. It looks like they might be getting a little bit of help. A little. Uh, when you say that, uh, Portia, a blazing arrow of light suddenly crashes into the shield, right where your head would have been if the shield hadn't blocked it. Somebody doesn't understand sarcasm. Quit taunting. I don't know what accent that was, but... Mm. Also, I would like to point out the little thing was like half and half out of character, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> What do you guys say? Want some help dealing with all this? I might not be able to take of care of it by myself, but I'd be willing to give you some backup. Of course. Oh, just all you can spare. He will nod his head before getting up and in one single leap, jumping over to where you guys are and throwing his spear down into the side of the pillar of all that's left and just landing there. So, do you guys need help getting down to the ground? Please. Would be appreciated. Cal flaps his moth wings. Porsche just, Porsche just casu casually steps onto some of the kudzu and starts writing it down. Fair just uh, go, just going full on uh, spirit of the forest here. <laughs> also, I will be right back for just a moment. I just need to step away for a second. Let's run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Same. That gives me a chance for more coffee. Hmm, coffee. Hmm. Do I attempt to fly with the moth wings? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is first time for everything. I'm sure. Sorry, Portia, but the coffee pot is back home. Um, I already have a, a cup right here. Well, bottle, but either way. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> how, how, how does Werenimal end up awakening as a mage? See, he's just groggily getting up one morning, goes to the coffee maker to get a morning cup. <laughs> That's what sparks it. <laughs> 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 this is some gourmet shit. So how much quintessence do you have now? None! <laughs> All my quintessence got burned up when my paradox filled up. How much are you going to steal from this spirit? I only have three points in prime.
that's how you're going to essence suck it from the ripper. What? Okay, but sorry, I'm you, you've lost me. What are we on about? I am lost on where we are right now altogether. What's going on? I shall, I shall turn to the snake for guidance. Tanya Sapien is watching the sip water. Did Kerr step away? Yes, he did. Yes. Yep. I, I love your river. Okay. Hello there, Sarah Von Silicate. I can't remember. Did I burn a point of willpower earlier? Here's to new beginnings. Yay. Vaporwave Skywolf. Skywolf. Vapor, vaporwave Skywolfo. Thank you very much for that follow and welcome. Duke. Welcome, Martin. <sighs> The Martin has toy that they put in the water, but then they want it back, but there's water. And now the water's on the floor. Still waiting on her to get back. Tani Sapien wants everyone to see the sleepy Japanese Martin ones. By the way, these critters that you all keep seeing pop up on the stream are Martins. Martins are mustelids, cousins of the ferret, weasel, otter, etc. Uh, that last one there was a Japanese Martin. Uh, the one before it was a sable, the variety of Martin native to Russia. They are the tree-dwelling cousins of the mustelid family. Tanya Sapien is booping the Martin. How dare you, Tanya? You get the big chomp. No. If, if you give the big chomp, then I get then I keep eggs from you. I will take yeah. all of your eggs and lock them behind a magical force field. Yeah, you know how well that works out for you. About this one. Tanya Sapien can't get the eggs out. <laughs> Behold my force field. <laughs> Help. <laughs> He so badly wants them. 
I mean, he'd get them if they didn't hold the thing still. Hey, dump it out onto the floor and then take them. Exactly. Tani Sapien is helping the Martin on his adventure. Behold the little backpack. I actually have quite a few of these things stockpiled. Like, for example. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Hey Timber, you have been given an AMP and V pack through stream loops by Tanya Sapien. Good luck. Ugh. Making me do frickin' work here and stuff to <laughs> actually have to go and send this out and fucking go send it over to Timber and find out that there he is and there we go, and now I'm gonna send a freaking pack over to him, all because you make me do some freaking work here. Sorry about that. Uh, been sent. Laughing. Welcome back. Welcome freaking back. I'm having to do some work here, and it's no bueno, but I'm having to do this freaking work. I should really just bap the Tanya. No, and no maybe as, them. As the figure helps Alexis and some of the others, you can't just uh, either fly or get their own personal kudzu uh, escort get down to the ground. And it, it's the vine evader. I mean, I I could, but I want to make him feel useful. So you do a good <laughs> job. But does does uh, Werner will have to roll deck since he's never flown before? No, it's instinctual and it's just like gliding. He can't really mess it up too badly. You say that, but you two begs to differ. <laughs> 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 I've, seen I've, I've seen some hang glider videos. I've seen some hang glider videos that ended pretty poorly. <laughs> but as you guys get to the ground. I get itself. moth dust everywhere. A massive figure suddenly bounds down and crashes into the earth, sending up a dust cloud. As you see a glow from a visor looking towards you all. Well, it seems it wasn't such a waste of time for Jack to ask me for help. Hello. I'm going to be trying to kill you now. Do entertain me, won't you? End of and I am Nevis, King of Conquerors. Do your best. <laughs> and Portia, just completely deadpan Dude. face. Summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it out of it back as quickly as possible. <laughs> Reinhardt starts walking at him. Jojo Bizarre Adventure Style. <laughs> we, each, we each handle trauma in our own ways. Everything is fine. Got this good job. Reinhardt's going to end up using up all my panacea. <laughs> I'm going to use up all your panacea, but I'm going to kill the thing. I've got the arm that I just haven't been using, and now I'm like, hey, I should use this. 
<laughs> You're going to use up the panacea, but not before you punch God. Don't worry, <laughs> Reinhardt has a license to kill. I do? The gun license? That's a license to own a gun, not to kill. <laughs> Same difference. Uh, no, not really. To warn it is. Well, speaking as a gun owner, no, no, it is not. Five experience points, folks. Yes, five experience for everybody. Six for Portia. And don't forget Porsche about the six. ten for the past two games that I missed. So we should we should all be at one fifty for the overall. Yes. Yes. And um, I was going to put those into spheres, but because Adamant is going to be railroading Portia, once we get some downtime, it's going to get <laughs> dumped into firearms and uh, martial arts. She gonna start bashing you into doing things. Yes, she she's she's literally going to get put through boot camp because Adamant's like, no, I am not putting up with this. You are rounding out your skill set now. <laughs> Ever been bullied by yourself? Nope, but I am more than happy to hear you bully yourself next uh, session. So who wants me to pull out Zhuzha next session? It's not bullying. I'm just making sure that you reach your fullest potential. It's fucking bullying. <laughs> All right, I suppose we'll go ahead and end. Even though Ascend to Ascend is canceled, so we could keep going. But oh also, God. I have uh, Scub and Bill only in 20 minutes. <laughs> and I got dinner with friends in 15 well, minutes. Well, then, be, uh, a, be a scum and be a villain, and don't go to those, and just stay here and play these with us. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Blades in the dark I will, system. I will gladly stay in chat, but I was going to go over and play Fallout 4 after the session was over. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us today for Horizon Lost World of Darkness Mage. Wow. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, and more. They are on the website as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, tippers, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really cannot do this without your guys' help and support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It is one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by simply sharing the stream around. But for now, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you the most fondest a duke. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming, folks. Moth noises. Bye, guys. Tanya Sapien is sending love to everyone.